If there's one thing that I do that really drives my wife crazy, and no, not that, is I like media things. I will watch certain movies over and over and over and over again. I've seen The Rocketeer, I don't know how many times. I watch Star Trek a lot. Uh, just watch Generations again on the weekend. Uh, I watch like Lethal Weapon. I watch a lot of these movies a lot. And the reason I mention that is I love The Stand. I've talked about that before. I have to ask though, what's the point of the 2020 remake? Greetings, Dave here, DCPFX. I, best thing I can say is, I like The Stand. I have the book, I have the author's edition, I have the one that came out, the re-release version in the 90s. This is a book from 1978. I've read it several times. I've seen the miniseries, I don't know how many times. Uh, I can't even count it that high. I, I watch things a lot, uh, as I said. So. I go through this and I, I'll, I'll watch this a couple times a year. Uh, I like to watch it in June when the first uh, when it first hits uh, in the in the, the miniseries I think around the seventeenth uh, of June. I like I watch it then just because it's sort of forefront in the mind. And I watched it a few times this year because well, pandemic. I don't understand the point of the twenty twenty version. I, I watched episode one and here's my point: when we go through the book and we go through the miniseries. For example, the character of Harold Lauder is a bit of a nerd, whatever, he's whatever he is. He's just not a very likable person, but he's okay, he's trying. Even in the book, there's a wonderful arc where Harold is just, he's lost his mind almost because his family is dead and he's, he's mowing the lawn in his Speedo with his big fat and everything else. Um, we see over the original miniseries, Harold resents some things, but still is not a bad person. Until we get into like uh, episode three, and again, I'm not going to say spoilers because it came in 1978. I'm sorry. Then we see him turn dark. But even in the book, uh, there's parts of it where it said, "There's Harold is thinking to himself, you know what? I could stay in Boulder and I could be great here." But then he makes the turn, which most people know about. But in this 2020, he's an ass, and he's. Already said, you know, the end of episode one. Well, I'm going to do this. You've taken all the suspense out of it. And also, let me just say one thing about this: the pacing on this thing, terrible. The whole setup is the world is good and happy, and the virus comes and people start dying, and then the survivors that we have a few get together, be it in Colorado or in Vegas. But to do this. Okay, everyone's dead. Let's jump back. And this. And it's very, you can't get a narrative going. It's very disjointed. You're just like, uh, what? what? And then even some of the casting. Um, James Marsden, nice guy, great actor. They give him nothing to work with. You know, his Stu Redmond is, mm. uh, to me, Gary Sneese is Stu Redmond. Gary Sneese did a great job in the miniseries, and he is Stu Redmond. But even Fran Goldsmith, I don't like her, I don't care about her. Like the, the, the way that the actress is portraying it, don't care. Don't care. It's just, I don't know. It's being remade for the sake of being remade, I guess. There was nothing wrong with this series. Like it was a 94 series, and it was looked like a made in the 90s uh, miniseries, but it worked. I just don't see how this is going to continue for nine more episodes. But, you know, they're not making it for me. They're making it for themselves, and we'll see. The reviews are pretty terrible. Audience reviews on uh, Rotten Tomato are like 34%. Um, We'll see what happens. That is, you know, people have seen one episode. Uh, some reviewers are up like 54, 55%, but they've seen six episodes. I just don't see how this is going to work. Uh, my wife said, well, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Well, it's the stand. I probably will watch it. I'll probably hate it. And I'll put the old one in and go, there we go. That's what we need. Fantastic. That's my little rant for the day. Um, just, yeah. Uh, but here I am in my new studio, and I'm happy that I'm here. It's uh, it's working so much better now than the other one. There's nothing in the way. Uh, so I've been walking to my camera today, but I've got that sorted out too. So that's all I want to say for uh, for today. Uh, thank you to all new subscribers. I, I don't know what's going on. Keep climbing. My pad video is at 200 and something views. I don't know how that happened, but it's uh, great to see all the new people here. Welcome. 
have a look around. I've got 110 videos for you to look at, uh, lots of things for you to check out. So uh, at this point, I'm going to say have a great day and we'll talk to you all later.